The other day I was running my Yanmar VIO 3.5 and just running it, driving it. It was running great. And all of a sudden it wouldn't start. I turned the key to the on position and then I turned it to starter and it would the battery would just drop. So I thought, hey, maybe there's a battery problem. So I opened the battery compartment. These wires were getting so hot they were smoking. That's how I knew I had a problem when I had to start her in the start position. What had happened, though, is somebody bypassed the fuse because it kept blowing on them. So they literally just touched. Whoa, see, that's positive right there. Yeah, you don't want to touch that. To ground. Battery tested good. Um, this wire right here, I ran right to the starter solenoid so that I could make sure that the starter worked. And the starter did work. You can hear the starter. It won't start unless you have the key turned on. But so then I was just running it with the key turned on and not hitting the start button, just starting it with this wire. So this is the standard. So this is where I hooked the blue wire up. Hooked the blue wire up to right there. And you see we were tapping on it to see if it was bad because it wouldn't. We thought the starter was draining the system. But we just hooked the blue wire right to there, but I left the other wires still hooked up. So that if I ever found out what was wrong with it in the future, it would work. And so the starter wasn't bad. Which was nice because it's kind of a pain to get this one off. There's a bolt up here and there's a bolt down on the bottom that you can't get to. Unless you're real creative. We took this off and tried to get to it from where the hydraulic hoses are down here. But this just comes up. And then there are a bunch of bolts that fasten down here. So we took this plate out. By taking the plate out, we got we were able to get to the bottom bolt on the starter. I ran the blue wire under here and just... Through here back in here and then just ran it over to my positive so that I could touch it whenever I needed to start it then today I was in the back and I noticed where the wires were shorted somebody didn't hook these up and this black wire has a fray in it so that was touching ground and bringing down the whole starting system and when I just bypassed it and never used that function the thing would start now I'm gonna take these wires and I'm going to cover that one right there and then I'm going to zippy tie them someplace so they won't rub on whatever they rubbed on down here. So I put electrical tape on the wire that was bad, on the wire that was rubbing on the metal. And then I zippy tied this to the wiring harness so it won't rub on anything metal anymore. And now I can come over here and start it. Before when it did that, all the lights would go dim up here because it was shorting out the, the, the positive. Another problem this has is it sucks air through here. This part, I need to seal this right here because you can see we got zippy ties holding it closed. But I need to put some seal in here because it's sucking air bubbles from the inlet. This is the inlet, and then this is goes to the engine. This can still sit here. It'll tell me if my starter's good or bad. That way in the future I'll know without taking anything apart. <laughs> 